All right. Now, only 5% of women surveyed said they want more sex. Right. But one in three, so that's what, like 33%, yep. said they want more passion in their sex life. And this is actually something I hear often. Yeah. Um, is that, again, you just need to brave up and speak about it? Well, it's that, and I think there are also some things around that. So, you know, few people would want more sex if the sex is, you know, bad. Mm -hmm. So, you know, that number being low doesn't mean that women don't necessarily want more sex, but the passion bit, you know, is tricky. I think what we understand as being passionful sex is very informed by how we think sex should be. So we want, like, this spicy, crazy, you meet someone, you just want to rip their clothes off, you have ten orgasms in the space of five minutes. Mm. Um, <laughs> and I think... I think there's a lot of unrealistic expectations about what happens with that. We've been led to believe that the one that you hook up with, you know, you meet them and the sparks fly mm. and you just have amazing sex forever and ever and ever. And if that isn't what's going to happen, then there's something wrong in your relationship. And the fact is, passion takes time and it takes effort. If you're in a long-term relationship, you're going to have to commit to making some effort, to spending time with that person, to having the conversations, to setting some time to be spontaneous. Mm -hmm. um, and people don't want to address that because it means time and effort and we want quick, easy fixes. Yeah. And passion is just supposed to be something that just happens. And, you know, sometimes it does just happen. But if you're in a long-term relationship, you have to work at it. It yeah. has to be one of those things that just slots into making the rest of your relationship work. Who does the dishes? Who looks after the kids? How do you negotiate your sex life? Mm -hmm. How do you make it fun for each other? All right, so what are some tips you might have for people who want to introduce passion back into their sex life? You know, I think one of my favorites is always, if you want to spice it up, there are a million things. You can play games, you can you know, do dares, you can role play. If you really want to introduce a lot of passion into your sex life, you start being honest. There are a great many sort of questionnaires online to ask, like 20 questions to ask your partner. That'll include a lot of honesty about how you feel with body parts, uh, infidelities, cheating, and that conversation will open up a part of your partner that you might not have um, addressed before. Mm -hmm. So passion and you know, putting the spice back in your relationship really comes back down to being honest. And I cannot say it enough. Mm -hmm. If you really want to be honest with your partner, if you really want to spice things up, ask them what their most like deepest, darkest fantasy is. Like deepest dark, doesn't matter what it is, they have to tell you what it is. And you write it down, you shuffle it on. Very few people have done that. Very few people don't like want to go there because it's kind of you know, tricky. We don't want to be judged. We don't want to be shamed. But that's where you start opening avenues up to explore. Mm -hmm. You know, if you're with someone and you don't know that they maybe have a kink for being tied up or blindfolded because you've never asked the question and they've been too shy, what happens when you do find out? Where do you go from there? Mm -hmm. What interesting things does that take your sex life into?